everyone. This is Lucas Ross Sports. Lucas Ross, your commentator. And we continue our 2022 college football predictions. The Kentucky Wildcats are up next. I'll give you an official prediction on this team, give you my thoughts on this team, and go through the schedule, and we will go from there. But before we do that, let's look back at 2021 for this Kentucky team. In 2021, the Kentucky Wildcats had another 10-win season, second one under Coach Mark Stoops. Had a really successful season last year. There were some ups and downs along the way, but Kentucky still managed to be a really good team in the SEC East. This is a team that has really been good under Mark Stoops for the last few years. Kentucky, ever since 2016, they have just been better and better than most underdog teams over the years. Kentucky in offense and defensively in the rankings from last year, they were 36 on offense, so close to being a top 30 offense from last year. This offense got really much better. You know, they, you know, they obviously changed up the offense from last year's, you know, team. Defensively, they were 26 on defense. They were such a good defensive team last year. They were a top 30 defense overall, close to being a top 25. This Kentucky team could be better on defense than they were last year. That number could be a lot different. But points per game and the opponents per game on both sides of the ball. The offense averaged 32.3 points a game on the offensive side. Defensively, they just gave up 21.7 points. That's really good there. You know, I'm seeing this Kentucky team having another successful season, but will it be like last year? We don't know the question about that, but here is that 2022 schedule for Kentucky. And you see that opening game, the kickoff against Miami University of University, Miami University Red Hawks. This is not Miami, Florida. This is Miami of Ohio. They should take care of business in this game. They don't have no business in losing this one either. Kentucky really does return really good duos of Chris Rodriguez and Will Levis at quarterback. So, I mean, I think Kentucky does start out the season 1-0. And then there's that game on the road at Florida. Tough place to play here. Florida and Kentucky have had close matchups in the past years now. It seems like Kentucky has gotten close to Florida every year. And then sometimes it, Florida goes back to being dominant. But I'll tell you what, this is a close game to call here. Florida going to be a really, you know, young team this year. Not a young team, let's be honest. Not a young team. Offensively, they bring, you know, quite a bit back on that side of the ball. Like I said in the Florida video, I think it comes down to that quarterback position. I think this is going to be a tough place to play for Kentucky. I mean, Kentucky might not have the same team from last year. The offense is a little bit young, but, you know, they're still going to be good. But I don't think it will be enough. I, I had to go with Florida in this game. Just the, the home field advantage is there for Florida. And remember four years ago, though, Kentucky defeated Florida on the, on the road at the Swamp. That could happen again this year, but this year I really don't see it happening. This is a revenge game for Florida as well, so I think Florida does win it here in this game. And then, they, then Kentucky takes care of business in their – Last two games in September against Youngstown and then Northern Illinois. That's what NIU stands for. I think Kentucky takes care of business. And then they face Ole Miss on the road. Interesting game here. Ole Miss loses a lot on the offensive side of the ball. They're still going to be really good. Uh, Matt Corral is gone, so I mean, Ole Miss going to be a little bit young this year on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, they bring quite a lot back. This is a tough place to play. Again, you know, it's a game that can go either way, though. I think both offenses will get it going by this time as well. Kentucky, though, I don't really see them winning on the road at Ole Miss. I think it's too tough of a place to play, and I think they will just come up short. Not saying it's going to be a blowout, though. I think it's maybe just a 10-point win there for Ole Miss. But Kentucky does get close. No doubt about it, Kentucky will be close in this game, but it's not enough. So, I mean, that's not an easy draw there out of the West as well. I mean, Ole Miss probably is the third you know, best team out of the West probably, or maybe, you know, fourth. So, I mean, they're in that category, you know, for the top teams in the SEC, in the SEC West. South Carolina is next on October 8th. This is an interesting game here as well. Kentucky and South Carolina have had close matchups in the past. And it seems like every year, and, and, you know, for the last few years, Kentucky has owned South Carolina. And you get to Mark Stoops here. He has beaten South Carolina so many times. The question is, South Carolina is going to be is South Carolina going to be a team to watch out for? Yes, they are in the SEC East. But you know, this game is at home for Kentucky. I think Kentucky will be fired up in this game. They'll really shut down the offense for South Carolina, 
And don't get me wrong, South Carolina does return, you know, a great production from this year, from last year's team. But it won't be enough. I think Kentucky does win it here at home, and the offense will get it going here by this time as well. So I think Kentucky does win it here. Next game is at home against Mississippi State. Another game here that's really interesting. Kentucky and Mississippi State have had close matchups as well in the past. But who has owned it in this rivalry? I mean, I think it's been Kentucky, though. I think Kentucky has been owning this rivalry for the last few years now. Mississippi State, though, was able to defeat this Kentucky team. It's a revenge game here for the Wildcats. I really see them, you know, coming in here with really fired up, getting their revenge in this game as well. I think Kentucky does win this one over Mississippi State. Mississippi State does return a good defense this year. Offensively, they're going to be really explosive on that side of the ball. So I think it will be a back-and-forth offensive battle here between these two teams. But I think Will Levis and Chris Rodriguez, this is the time when they step up against Mississippi State. They have that breakout game, and I think that's the game against Mississippi State. They get a bye week now before playing Tennessee on the road. So that's really a good sign that you get a bye week before playing Tennessee on the road. Tennessee and Kentucky's matchup last year was one of the best games I think I've ever watched in an SEC rival game. It was both in the 40 points, you know, went back and forth the whole way. Tennessee, though, had a really explosive offense. Hendon Hooker coming back at quarterback. Tennessee should be a really good team this year. The question is, can they really, can Kentucky really hang with Tennessee? Yes, they can. But I don't think it's going to be enough. I think Tennessee does come out on top by maybe 10 points. I mean, like similar to last year as well, maybe three points. But I think this game goes into the 30 points as well. Maybe 30 points, maybe 40 points a game. You never know. Both offenses are really explosive in the SEC. So I really see this one being a close game. I don't really see it being a blowout. Tennessee has owned Kentucky, but, you know, I think Kentucky, I like how this rivalry has been in the last few years. It's been really close. Next game is on the road at Missouri. Missouri, of course, you know, they bring quite a lot back on the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, a lot of question marks on that side. This is not, this is not going to be an easy game for Kentucky. This is not going to be an easy game. It could be one of those games that Kentucky, you know, after getting beat by Tennessee, they're a little bit, you know, sluggish in this game. But I think Kentucky will win this one. I don't really see Kentucky having any problem a little bit. But maybe the first half, I think Kentucky and Missouri will be a little bit closer and then second half, I think it's all Kentucky. So I think Will Levis and Chris Rodriguez will step up maybe that second half. Next game is at home against Vanderbilt. So they're back at home after playing back-to-back -back road games. Vanderbilt, though, is a team that has a lot of question marks. Not really high on this Vanderbilt team, as people are saying. Vandy, Vandy's just got a lot of question marks. I mean, they weren't really good last year either. So, I mean, there's just a lot of expectations around that program. But Kentucky has owned Vanderbilt in the past as well, so I'm going to go with Kentucky in this game, and they're at home, so it's a, yeah, I think this is a game that they can easily win and take care of business in. And then there's that game at home against Georgia. Georgia is an interesting team this year. You know, they're the defending national champions, but a lot of question marks surrounding that defense. I know that they lose quite a lot, but they're still going to be a quality defensive team question is can Kentucky can compete in this game yes they can Kentucky is going to compete in this game maybe in the first half but I think Stinson Bennett is going to step up in the second half and I think Georgia does win this one at on the road at Kentucky but Kentucky does compete but it's not going to be enough for an upset and then there's that final game at home against Louisville Governor's Cup rivalry here Kentucky has owned Louisville in the last few years now I mean, they didn't play in 2020, but Kentucky just has owned, you know, Louisville. I think the last time Louisville defeated Kentucky was 2017, and that's the last time that Louisville was a powerhouse program. So, Louisville might be an interesting team this year. I mean, I think this game is closer than last year, but I think Kentucky does win it here at the end of the day because it's at home, and I think the home field advantage is there for them. So, I got Kentucky going 8-4 and four this year. Not a 10-win season, I think, is not enough there. I think that game against Florida is a winnable game, though. They can go 9-3, and three, maybe 10-2. and two, You know, they could defeat Tennessee on the road, but we never know. They could lose some other games like South Carolina, Mississippi State. But give me your thoughts on this Kentucky team down in the comments below. We'll do more predictions next week. And stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.